Hey guys, welcome back. We're doing another episode by episode series for you. This is going to be uh, episode one of Love is War. Thank you for taking me at a real angle. Uh, and this is a newer show. It's like a maybe like a slice of life, if you want to call it. It's more like a comedy uh, skit romance based, type uh, yeah, skit. Skit, like um, if you've watched, uh, I can't even pronounce the name, but similar to like Psyche and some other shows where yeah. you have. The episodes split into three or four different events that are happening, and sometimes mm -hmm. they do time skips or yeah. you know uh, something like that. Uh, and there's like three main characters, at least that we get introduced to in the first episode, uh, and it's more centered around like a school council type thing. So uh, you have the main guy, which is uh, the president of the I, I don't know if it's like their class or the school in general, and then you have uh, his vice president, which is his love interest, which is the two main characters, uh, and she's like this really rich trillionaire, <laughs> I guess. Uh, and then you have uh, their secretary, which is like the friend of both of them, but a completely oblivious to their feud and uh, love, love feud. <laughs> yeah, love and war, love war. war. War never changes, guys. Uh, All is fair in love and love in war. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, it's like basically what you know what the title says. Uh, it's two people that are you know have a crush on each other at, to begin with, but they're like they don't want to like say it because they feel like they'll lose the battle if they pronounce it or you know announce it first. So like a year goes by, and then like you know they didn't just like for get about it and like none of them caved it just like grew stronger so now they're like madly in love with each other and they still don't want to say it they're trying to get the other person to say i love you the love uh, you. Yeah. <laughs> one of the favorite parts of this show um well the tone in general is pretty great they kind of mm -hmm. have like a um a narrator throughout the each different part and at the beginning and the yeah. beginning narration and animation is pretty great um, oh yeah there's a lot of like i, I want to say like metaphor ish uh you know like symmetry where you have uh you know they're like doing like battle tactics or like even in the opening like they'll have it to where it's like you know like bombs are going off like they have like guns and knives and they're like trying but it's all like a mental battle uh, and like choosing words and stuff like that, but uh, each of, like I think there's like what four or five different skit ish storylines that they do uh, throughout the episode, and uh, each of them are pretty funny. They have uh, anything like once uh, like uh, I can't remember what the first one is, but it has to do with uh, saying the right thing. I think they're trying to not uh, slip that they like each other, and then like the other ones like uh, uh, like the one chick uh, sets up to where like. Uh, trying to get him to like ask her out to go to the movies but she like bought the tickets but made it like an arranged thing to where it's like the secretary just won them or something uh and then you know it's like a mind game of like oh i can't i can't ask her to go <laughs> or otherwise i'll be as soon as a date just stuff like that uh and it's pretty uh yeah. as a <clears throat> It's really a kind of a show that if you if we just talk about it, you, you probably won't get it as much just because yeah. it's like a comedy. You really just have to see it and see if it's your style. Yeah. It's for for us. I think for both of us, it was really funny, and uh, the, the characters are kind of they're interesting, and uh, I'm excited for what skits they have planned in the future. Especially if they end up do if they do end up going on a date, I'm sure it'll be legendary. Yeah, I think a lot of it is it's got that like mental type comedy or um, kind of like similar to Kakagiri, where you know she's going through like all these like insane things and then you know <laughs> it, it finally comes to fruition and maybe it doesn't work out uh but it's it, yeah like michael said it's just like a fun little show i wouldn't really say uh it does well, at least right now it doesn't look like it's gonna focus too heavily on story uh that I, hopefully that'll change because you know we want some you know development of the characters but yeah at least from the first episode it looks like a really heavy sketch which I'm okay with, you know, uh, we have slime, we have mob, we have uh, character progression, and, you know, you want to know more about the story, so every once in a while it's good to kick back and watch a romantic comedy of this <laughs> proportion, and, uh, you know, there's a bunch, there's like uh, ten different characters in the opening, so we'll have to see how the other characters play a role, and if, you know, there's going to be other characters that fall for the guy or the girl that, you know, cause shenanigans, Sim similar yeah. to Toradora, if you like that show. So. Yeah, so we're looking forward to that. Uh, we're going to kind of prep... Uh, for doing like an episode by episode series for this show uh, depending on what style of show it kind of evolves into that might depend on if we continue this but we want to start it here so that at least we have the ball rolling if it's something that goes into review work yeah, I can't wait for the jealousy subplot <laughs> it's the best part I can't wait to see like cabbage guy again <laughs> <laughs> you're like That's hey what's up and she's just like no he's like oh <laughs> 
Rest in peace, normies. Uh, you either have to be a billionaire or the smartest person in the world. Yep. You got no chance. Nope. <laughs> it's just like real life. No. Uh, but anyway, guys. Now I'm depressed. Uh, uh, anyway, so I, th I think this one, I think it's a 12 or 13. It may be a 26, but I assume it's going to be a, sh a shorter um, show. So it's we're, we're going to have fun here on the channel. This is going to be a fun series. And uh, it's not exactly our archetype as far as what we've done for episode by episodes in the past. Yeah. We'll see how uh, how you guys enjoyed, and if we do, then we'll continue to make it and queue you up. It, uh, again, there won't since it's like a skit style. There's not much to go over at each episode. I mean, um, mm. I think my if I were just gonna do favorite moments just for a second, mine was probably the uh, movie ticket one because it kind of introduced a lot of the the mental mind games kind of thing. Yeah. Um, all, the food one was great as well. Yeah, I, I like uh, the moment where she's just uh, <laughs> basically uh, excommunicating her friend. Because she's, uh, you know, just innocently getting closer to uh, the guy and, you know, his meal that he's made. <laughs> and how nobody bats an eye to her really expensive meal. Uh, and then, you know, like the beginning where they have to, like, call it tr a, a draw <laughs> is great, too. But, uh, yeah, it's been pretty good, and we'll be back for more, definitely. Well, so. for this episode, that's pretty much everything. And we'll see you guys later on the battlefield of, of love. It's true. Peace, addicts. Later.